slightly different tone. Meanwhile, pictures taken at Jimi Hendrix's penultimate concert will be auctioned today at Bonhams in London, along with handwritten lyrics from John Lennon. This is after lyrics from Bob Dylan's anthem, The Times They Are Changing, fetched almost half a million dollars at auction last week. So how do you get exposed to pop memorabilia and how much of an investment is it uh, really? Joining us is Patrick von der Voorst, founder of website valuemystuff.com. Uh, well, I don't think it's my stuff you want to value, really, Patrick. But, well, but you yeah. know. <laughs> uh, pop memorabilia, is, is, it, is it, I mean, it's obviously it's very expensive. Is, it, is there a middle ground between having something that's worth like Bob Dylan's lyrics and, a, and somebody that I could buy. That yes, is exactly. Worth I mean, like John Lennon's lyrics today are estimated between 250 and 350 thousand pounds, and it might well uh, take more. But uh, a lot of people are sort of stepping into that market, seeing it as an alternative investment. And I think you can pick up really good things at sort of 500 pounds, a thousand pounds. What does that give you in the lyrics? I mean, kind of some Duran Duran lyrics. I mean, are they going to be you know must-have items in in another 20 years? I don't know. You know. Yes, I mean, if we well, <laughs> it's, it's, it's always sort of difficult to predict that one doesn't have the, the crystal ball. The main thing to look out for is that if the items are linked to an iconic event, mm. for example, if it's just a signed Brian May guitar, it might not be as valuable as if you played it during the Live Aid concerts, right. for example. So provenance is key for all those the, the uh, story. items. The story, the story that goes behind with it, it or, or like the John Lennon lyrics, yeah. is literally yeah. the lyrics to a song that he... Uh, that he made uh, so yes that's that's all very key um, yeah and who I mean are people how are people viewing this arena I mean it's it's I think it's slightly offbeat it, and it's I, no pun intended no 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 <laughs> but it, it's it's true I think probably about 10 20 years ago it was seen probably as a fairly sort of frivolous market to step mm. into and to literally buy sort of big celebrity uh, items and, and and spend serious money into uh, in it and I think with some iconic sales of the Spice Girls memorabilia, Michael Jackson memorabilia, I think everybody started to look at that market sort of in a much more serious way and I think that market is well on its way well, One now. of my directors has all the Spice Girls uh, material, um, <laughs> apparently. Um, I mean, obviously it's not just, I mean, there's pop memorabilia, I mean, value my stuff, though, you do much broader things on that. I, I, I wonder, yeah. in, a, in an environment where we've had very low, you know, you're not getting any money in your savings account, you, you, you couldn't get much return uh, in government bond markets. Has that meant p more people have looked at yes, you know, exa exactly. alternatives? I think yes, exactly. I think before our website there wasn't an easy way for people to find out the value of their items. And I think most people are intimidated to pick up the phone to either Christie Sotheby's or an mm. auction house. So to do that whole process online is a very easy way to do it. And we have all we have uh, 50 experts, all of whom have worked for Sotheby's and Christie. So you can literally send in Silver memorabilia. Do you furniture. send it in or take pictures of it? What, what's the yes, deal? exactly. You, you take <laughs> no, picture of the items. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> you take good pictures of the items, sort of three, four pictures, and then our expert sort of gets back to you. And so, how much do you charge then? If I, you know, if I get home and I'm rooting around in my attic and I've come across, you know, various items, how does it work? It's it's five pounds ninety nine for one item, or if you buy bundles to have sort of ten items value, then mm. it's forty five pounds. So it's 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 quite a, a good value, sort of way to 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 start looking into your things actually and we have made discoveries yeah. we yeah. have valued the money at a million two million and a half a chinese vase which was used as a fruit bowl in the center of a table i've got some old lady andy braff research notes in punch <laughs> taverns back from 2000 which apparently are quite quite well, worth items. yeah right. i'll even yeah. sign them if you want. <laughs> signed uh, signed with um yeah, patrick great. thanks very much Steve, no, for you're coming in welcome. patrick Van Horst, founder of uh, value my stuff, uh, dot com. I'll be going.